Bonjour guys, welcome to our FIFA 20 starter team with us today. It will be a really cool video to yes. share with you guys our FIFA 20 starter squad builder on the road to glory for the first couple of days of FIFA 20. Guys, obviously let us know in the comment section down below what do you think and as well let us know a couple of your players exactly, that will be featured in your starter team. So like that it will be cool to us to see what you guys are rocking with within the first few weeks of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Boys, obviously if you enjoy today's video leave a like and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to not miss out our FIFA 20 content and especially the road to glory. No FIFA points on FIFA 20. So boys, really excited to start this FIFA 20 season with an OP squad and of course the formation classic for free free. Exactly boys, because we don't know yet which formation will be really overpowered in Indeed. FIFA 20. Therefore, mm -hmm. we decided to stay on classic, the classic for free free formation. I would actually as well advise you boys to use that formation at the start of the game so that they can analyze and you can see which formation is the most OP? The goalkeeper is straight from the Bundesliga, Leipzig, and it will be boys. Gulaxi, if I'm not wrong, boys, if I'm not wrong, is any favorite. He won't be that expensive and he won't be cheap, in my opinion. A great overpowered goalkeeper at the start of the game. Massive upgrade from him, so fair play to, to, to his season last year. Now, for the right back, obviously, it will be again a Leipzig player. Clusterman, honestly guys, wow, what a card, 85 pace, decent defending, decent physicality. This is exactly what we're looking for for a right back at exactly. the start of the year. He's not too short, he's not extremely tall, but he will do the job as a right back and he gives great link to, to our first center back. It will be, of course, Konate, the main man from Leipzig. Bros, what a tank, bros. I swear, Leipzig have so many good center back, three French center back. You can, you guys can as well put in this position. There's Upamecano, Konate, obviously, and um, Mukiele. Mukiele. Exactly, I've almost forgot his name. So all three of them can work for the squad. But for us, we do prefer Konate because he's a bit stronger and a bit taller. Exactly, boss. Then we're gonna move to the left center back position. Kilo Kara, five star with football. So that player, in my opinion, is gonna be a great cheap center back option to use within the first few days yes, of FIFA sure. 20. If you have a bit more cons and if you want to upgrade Kilo Kara, there's another option called Presnel Kipembe. The left back of the team. Juanito Bernard, bros, I love the game. What a, guy. a great left back. Don't get me wrong, bros. If you never watch Bernard played for PSG, he is a quality left back. And in my opinion, for FIFA 20, even though he's a bit short, uh, his first task move can be clutch at some important moment. And as well, he does have a great passing ability. So that as well can be something to look forward if you want to cross with Bernard. Indeed, and he will not be too expensive, which is the most important, especially at the start on the road to glory. Now, boys. It will be potentially the most expensive player in the squad. It will be, of course, in the right summit position. Saul, what a player in real life. I love watching him play. Simply class. He reminds me a lot about Iniesta. Nonetheless, boys, on FIFA 20, he is 85 rated. He is one of the most uh, complete midfielders in the exactly. Liga. So expect at least 20 to 30,000 coins for Saul. But a quality midfielder with 87 stamina. Really important for those of you guys that are really looking forward to the stamina. It's a lot and it's great for Saul. Exactly, boss. Then we're gonna have a great link as well between Ander Herrera and Saul. So Ander Herrera, I expect for him four star skimo, four star weak foot. He's gonna be a complete midfielder, boss. Uh, it, nothing too fancy for him, nothing big in terms of stats, but quality, a quality box to box. A team player. It's gonna be a team player, but just like in, as in real life, he can do everything, but nothing amazingly, in my opinion, bros. Next up, we do have, in my opinion, bros, Renato Sanchez, one of the most used players at the start of FIFA 20, and he will be not that expensive, but it won't be cheap. You can maybe count between, I will say, five to 15,000 coins, depending on his price range. For me, this is a quality center mid, and that's not an expensive option, if I like to say so. Yes, for sure, but bros, really important about the three midfielders. All of them have four star weak foot and three star skill move. Three Herrera, star skill move, yeah. Three star skill move for Herrera, unfortunately. But all of them are pretty good, pretty physical, decent amount of pace, and they are really good technically. So guys, this midfield, 10 out of 10 for me, especially within the first couple of weeks of FIFA 20. Exactly. Keep in mind, boss. It's all starter team. Now, bros, as well, for the right wing position, now we do have 
kind of a finisher in a right wing position, a four star skin move, four star weak foot on Hell Korea. So, boys, his space is not ideal for winger, but 80 shooting. Where do I sign? Where, where do I sign in the team? The man is gonna be quality for us, not too expensive, but keep in mind, he's gonna be a cheaper option to Usman Dembele because as soon yes. as we get as soon as we have enough coins to get Dembouz, we will sign Dembouz instead of Korea. But for the time being, Korea can definitely do the job for the road to glory. Exactly, boss. So now we will move on into the striker position. The striker position, Inaki Williams, with Seoul, in my opinion, one of the most expensive players in the team. We're going yes. to make some trading videos. So if you guys as well were looking to purchase Inaki Williams, make sure to subscribe now to the channel. Like that, we can give you tips on how you guys can make easy coins to purchase players just like him. In my opinion, one of the best overpowered striker in FIFA 20, boss. You can count on him to score some goal, to make some header, to make some assist, to make some, some great action within FIFA 20, boys. And in my opinion, it's going to be one of them players, boys, you will hate to come up against in Foot Champions and in Division 1 more. Yes, indeed. I checked his Foot Head Beast rating. Uh, it's 93. So, guys, this guy is going to be an absolute machine in the striker position. Unfortunately, only two-star weak foot, but four-star skill move the left wing. And it will be the cheap, uh, the cheap Ronaldo kind of back in the days. Gonzalo Guedes, Portuguese. He will give a decent link to Renato Sanchez and Inaki Williams. Four star, four star, 90 pace, 79 shooting, decent dribbling, decent physicality. So honestly, guys, it can be one of those uh, starters left wing for almost everyone. Honestly, will highly recommend if you guys don't have him in your starter team. Make sure you guys think about bringing bring him in on because he will be a great addition to any teams at the start of FIFA 20. We really wanted to build that FIFA 20 starter squad builder around a couple players. The first one being, of course, Inaki Williams and Guedes. I really wanted to play as well with Renato Sanchez. So that's a great um, a great way to fill all of those players a great into hybrid. a team. Exactly. exactly. A great hybrid. And as you can see, boys, I don't think the cost of the team will be that huge, it won't be cheap, we're not no. gonna play with some bronze player, but keep that in mind as well, we know we want quality for the road to grow, we want to finish a league top 100, therefore we have to have some quality players within the first few days of FIFA 20 boys, of course we're gonna provide you some trading videos on how you guys can make some coins, like I said make sure to subscribe, I recall the overall cost of the team, not be more, more than 100,000 coins. I reckon uh, so, yeah. I reckon this is pretty cheap, boys, for a great starter team with some great overpowered players. Nonetheless, if you guys have enjoyed today's video and if you find it helpful, leave a, leave a big thumbs up, boys. Leave a big thumbs up, over 400 likes. Uh, that will be massively appreciated. And as well, make sure to subscribe to never miss a Road to Glory and video. Let us know, boys, as well in the yes. comment section, boys, finally, which some of us, let us know some of the players that you guys are using as well for your exactly. starter team. That could be pretty cool to see what you guys are using at the start. So bros, thank you so much for watching. It has been your boy Liam. My name is Insane. See you guys later on today. Au revoir. Au revoir.